So guys and gals, guess what? I am back with another ranking. And it's not Undertale related, so you guys should be happy now. That's right folks, if you read the title correctly, which I hope you did, then you know we are covering Friday Night Funkin'. Friday Nights of Funk is a game that single-handedly breaks websites and hands alike. The game is a rhythm game where you play as a character remarkably named Boyfriend. You are trying to get with a girl named Girlfriend. You know, these two are perfect for each other, I know. But, but uh-oh, her, her dad is being mad and whatnot, and you have to defeat him and his army of hot moms, nostalgia, and hungry lemons in order to be with your demon waifu. The game is just so much fun, and it sparked the whole community of creativity. There's like tons, and I mean tons of mods, where people make songs and characters, that at this point I'd say I can't into the base game's lore at this point, because of like, look at how good they are. But we aren't talking about the mods today, sadly. We are talking about the base game songs, because, you know, I'm not trying to kill myself doing every single mod ranked. I mean, maybe I'll do a top 10 in the future, but unless you guys really want a 6 hour video of every single mod ranked, uh, you guys can tell me. Also, I waited to do this video until week 7 released, because, well, you know, I didn't want to do what everybody else did and make a video ranking the songs before week 7 came out. And there's a reason I waited till week 7 came out, which you will see later on in this video, there's a reason. But, Jesus Christ, those songs are bangers. But, you know, before we start this ranking video that, you know, I know, I know that some FNF fans will get mad that their favorite song um, is in first. I, I just want to cover some ground rules real quick about the entire ranking, so let's get into them. First rule, no instrumental songs. Although there are some instrumentals like I love better than the actual song, I feel like they'd just be in the same spot, and it'd be taking up too much, and it'd basically make the video twice as long, which I don't want to do. Second rule, no remixes. Sorry Fresh Boyfriend remix fans, but I mean, they're the same song, so you know, I'm not gonna make another thing with the remix. And third rule, all these songs are amazing in their own way, and I listen to them all the time. Except for one, but we'll get to that. So, really, they could change on a whim, like, one day, or they could stay the same. But these songs to me are really good, and I still like them even if they're at a lower rating. I will say, I, I will have some problems with them, but, like, I'll still like them nonetheless. Anyway, you guys are probably complaining this intro is taking too long, I know, so let's get into the countdown. So this is the song I meant. This song isn't terrible, but it just doesn't compete. Yeah, I get it, it's literally the first song other than the tutorial, but for me, it doesn't do anything. It's a nice song, don't get me wrong, but it just doesn't compete for me. I do love like the, har the like, little like the harmony things that are in this song, and it sounds really nice. And I also like how the boyfriend, you know, is uh, smiling, giving a smile, like pointing at the camera, doing his little like um, peace sign all the time. It's like the only time he does it, which is really cool that he does it here. I mean, not anymore, he does it in the tutorial now, but like, it's really nice that he does it here. It makes the song like sound a lot cool, a lot cooler and nicer. But like, for me, it just can't compete with the next ones on the list, you know, all the other songs. Coco is, well, forgettable. I mean, really, I could say that for all of week 5, but we'll get to that eventually. It's a nice song when I can actually remember it, but other than that, it's honestly forgettable. I will say, though, it's a really good song to listen to, it just can't compete with it, you know? And, like, for some reason, it doesn't feel Christmassy to me. I mean, to some it may feel Christmassy, for, but for me, it just doesn't a little bit. And like the other, you will get to the next song that I actually do feel like it's Christmassy in a little bit, but like, I feel like that song does a way better job than this one. And like, it's really cool though, this um, we, this like song in weeks. So I'll get to that a little bit about, you know, the whole week in general, but like, it's honestly really cool. Again, it's just not able to compete with the other ones. And I feel like I'm gonna say that for the rest of the um, songs in the 20s. 
Also, this week definitely spawned some not safe for work art, if you know what I mean. It's the pause screen song. What else can I say? It makes you feel like the other- It's like, you know, it makes you feel a lot better than the other two songs in my opinion because, you know, it plays- Plays, you know, when you pause the screen because, you know, you broke your fingers. And I just really love it in general. It sounds like really relaxing. It sounds like you, something you hear in the elevator or like just some room relaxing in. Again, it's just something really nice to listen to and maybe even sleep to, but to me, it's just the pause screen menu. It doesn't really do anything much except for just give you a little bit of background music while you um, tell your Twitch chat that your fingers are broken. It's the Game Over song. Not really much to say, is there? It's like the determination of this game, a song that plays when you die. Yeah, and you'll be hearing it a few times, don't worry. But like, it's just, it's just not able to compete with the other ones. Again, sorry for saying that, but like I have to for the millionth time. It does sound nice though that there is some singing and such in the background that's trying to encourage you, but you know, overall, it's a fine song. And you know, it just, you'll, you'll find out why it's a fine song eventually, because you'll see what other songs are after this. So I feel like I'm gonna be disappointing some people with this song. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good song, but like it's just it's just another song that can't compete with the bangers that are after this one. I will admit I like the remix version of this, I really do, but like, other than that, it's nothing special in this song. It just gets you hyped for the next part of the song. I do like the dad's like vocals and everything, and I do like really like the whole beatboxing beginning part. And then they're, they're just going into a calming like little uh, piece after it during the her entire middle part. And it honestly sounds really cool when they um, sing together. But like to me, it just again can't do anything. Uh, you'll you'll find out why though in a little bit. This song is definitely making me high. This is the most relaxing mom song in this entire like game. And honestly, it's just really nice to listen to. It's like really good and just gives you a sense of like chilling out and vibing with your friends and like it's just so good. You know, even though you're battling on top of a moving limo. But I mean, it's just another relaxing song and nice one to listen to. And let's talk about the young um, week for it real quick. I like the henchman in the background who like slow, like you know, just like slowly dance to this song because it makes it really cool. Like you know, the girlfriend's just vibing on her separate limo for no reason, and it's just really nice to listen to and just vibe and chill out and whatnot too. It's just really good in general, and I really love it. But yeah, um, the, but it's low because you know it's my opinion. So shut. This song is literally the only one in week 5 that feels Christmassy, and it's really good. I feel like I have this playing during Christmas, you know, just celebrating with my family, which would be very nice. You know, if um, if we weren't stuck in a little um, thingy mababi happening and Christmas wasn't around the entire year corner, but still. The first song for this week might be forgettable, but this one really isn't. It's really just so good, and, but in my opinion, again, it just can't compete with anything higher. I'm gonna say that for a lot of songs, aren't I? Also, I forgot to mention, you know, in the other week song, I just told you that, remember? 
But yeah, the background has so many references, references which is really cool. Henry Stickman, Pico, all his friends. Um, the, the, I, 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 I don't think I should know that reference. Uh, if I do, then I have a problem. But I mean, like, all the songs are really cool, and like, all the references are really cool, and this song is really nice to listen to. But again, just can't, can't compete with the next ones. You guys probably didn't expect this to be so high, or did you? In my opinion, tutorial is just so good. You have the boyfriend practicing singing, you know, with his girlfriend, encouraging him, and actually talking. Which begs the question, why does he only beep and boop? But still, like, you know, it's just a really nice song in general. It's really cute and wholesome, and I just love it that it's just them hanging out instead of, like, some evil demon trying to break them up. Which is a nice change of pace for this game. You know, and, but overall, it's a really good song. One drawback though is that it's really short. I mean, like, god dang. It, but I mean, you know, it's the tutorial, so obviously it's gonna be short. But it still sounds so nice. Also, that ending. What the heck was that? Nice. Or just filling in game because, you know, the guy was too lazy to fix it. I mean, I respect that, don't worry. You know, the old Big old Bunny song, Philly is just all around fun song to sing with a 20 year old man with a gun. Nice. It's a really good song for the Newgrounds nostalgia and it's really fun to play to and listen to. I'm not gonna be one of those people who analyze this song to the grim to find out every reference in it and you know all the other songs in Pico's Week but I recommend you look it up. As for me it kind of like bumped up the placement. This was usually in the 20s but like it bumped up the placement a little bit because it just all the neat references and nostalgia I had for it. But yeah it's honestly a fun song and really nice to listen to and it's honestly really catchy. I could say that for all of week 3 but you'll, you'll see later on about week 3. Looks like the anime boy is ne mad now and he's turned into an earthbound boss. Neat. This is an enjoyable song for me and it just shows how mad the high school anime guy really is. I mean, god dang, he really wanted that girl who is also 19 but we're just gonna ignore that for now. The background for this part of the song is really cool and like, you know, it has the school tearing up and it has, and you know, the flourishing anime feel like with the trees and whatnot has now become some golf girl's biggest dream or whatever, I'm not sure how golf girls work. And even some of the notes and how senpai sounds, it just sounds really good. One nitpick I do have though is that it feels repeated in that literally the same thing repeats again. And like I even noticed that while playing it and beating it the for the first time I was like, yeah, it definitely repeats. Yeah, you just have to press this part and you'll get it instantly. But like, other than that, it sounds really good. Overall, it's a nice song. And it, but you know, it is kind of weird to have a final song ranked this low. I mean, it must be a sign for um, what's to come. A weird song to put this high, I know, but hear me out. You know, Lemon Demon for the whole trying to eat my girlfriend, uh, you know, vibe. He's good at singing, I will give him that. 
it's already coming and it's strange because you know the whole context of the entire thing him trying to eat you alive it's literally only you and the lemon battling in an empty mall it's oddly nice to listen to it's not a hard it's not you know a hard song at all but like it's just a fun song in general and you know even though like i said he tries to boil us on christmas for no reason I mean, like, God, my taste in music is weird, I know. But, like, it's just so, it's just a fun song to listen to, and it's really calming for some reason. But, yeah, I, that's my opinion on this song. Finally, we got into the first song you listened to while booting up this game. God dang, it only took a couple placements. This is a song you immediately get the feel for how this game is going to be, and it's really cool, and it gives you so much about, like, you know, how the game is going to be. It's such a banger, and it even taunts you by asking if you got what it takes. I just love that. Overall, the song gets you so, like, hyped for what's going to happen. But, you know, it's actually not a song, but, you know, so it's, it, this will be the highest it goes for me, honestly. It's not an actual song, so I can't play it, so, you know, it's not gonna go up any higher. I will say, though, the screen, the, you know, the starting screen looks really cool all, all the time. And I do like how in the newest version, you can use the arrow keys to change the colors, and not only that, but, like, all the other stuff they usually say when opening the game, it's really cool. Looks like Skid and Pump are celebrating Spooky Mouth in the best way they can. Dancing and singing. You know, the usual. This song is so good, and like, I just, just love all the references that come with this song. It's so good, and you know, to see the Spooky Bros doing the spooky dance, it's just really good. And the song itself is, like, it just sounds like they something that they would actually sing. You know, it sounds like that's something that they actually sing inside the, you know, cartoons that they're in. Which is, you know, true, because Senior Pello also did the vocals for this. Which is pretty cool in my opinion. This song feels underrated for me as it's in the bottom tier of most lists. But I'm like, God, I man, I know week two is rushed, but like come on. This is this thing's a banger, I mean, you guys know it. But yeah, that's why Spookies is on, you know, this high. It's just really neat to listen to and I just love it so much. will never let this down. Yes, I put anime this high on the list, now shut up, but I can't lie, this song is good. The song itself sounds really nice as both boyfriend and senpai are trying to win over girlfriend. Again, weird because, you know, high school, 19 year old. I think we have a problem here. But, you know, this is just a really neat song in my opinion. It's not something you can headbang to, but it sounds really nice, and the vocals I think in this one are tremendous. It just really sounds like they're trying to win over a girlfriend. Again, weird flex, but okay. But like, it's just really neat, and like, I just love it so much. Put back in week two song, 
monster. I know technically this was a secret song at first, but the most recent update added him back, so now it's official, so shush. Anyway, monster, it's a weird song to put up so high. It's like Winter Horror Land, and, and it, it, you know, that's surprisingly relaxing. It's really relaxing for no reason, other than, you know, just just don't think about your eyes getting torn out of your sockets or whatever. But, you know, that's, that's just kind of what I like about the song. And also, another thing is, the beat in this song is so much better. It, like, hits you like a car. You'll see something that hits more hard, uh, harder later on, but still. But, like, this thing, it hits you so hard, and, like, I just love it so much. And it's a lot better than uh, Winter Horror Land in terms of um, Lemon Demon songs. It's a nice song for, you know, getting eaten, but honestly, it's really nice to listen to. And I'm happy that it's actually finally officially in the game, which is pretty nice. finally get to the last song for week one in the top 10 and really fitting to be honest this song slaps and it's really is so good it hits really hard too it's like it's really nice to listen to I honestly love this song I'm not actually sure what else to say it like has the same feel as the other dad like dad songs you know the whole vocals and everything sound really neat but like this one just sounds like incredible in my opinion for the both of them and like, really that's it, it's just a nice song in general. Also, one thing I do want to say though, is that I really, really love this song, and it, technically it was the first one I completed on hard mode, ever in my entire like time playing this game, so you know, it's pretty fun. Well, I mean, technically, I'll say, you know, obviously I did Fresh and Bo B Bo on hard, but like, th those don't count, I'm talking about this one. I, this was the first one I did on hard, and you know, it was really fun. And it was really fun to practice on Twitch, you know, and it, it was so much fun to do. But yeah, so this one has a special place in my heart. Not only that it bops and like slaps, but it also, you know, it just has a special place. Here's another Pico song. Honestly, I didn't say this before, but Pico is honestly my favorite character ever, and this song just makes me appreciate him so much more. The vocals and the beat in the background just like makes the song so good. Even if some parts are annoying to hit perfectly, God, I'm talking about you. And like, just I just love the song part of the song where you just chant "Go Pico." Yeah, you know, it just makes it so wholesome for you know the guy who's literally pointing a gun point blank into your face. Overall, it's a nice song, and it, it just it's just a blast to listen to. And, you know, again, Pico is another reason this song made it so far. And again, I just love it so much, and like, how it just sounds like it's just a friendly, like, yo, reunion of two characters, you know, that I guess they dated, I'm not sure. But still, it's, it's really fun, and I just love it so much. When I first played this song, I did not think it could slap so much. It slaps so hard, it hits you like a hammer. It just, like that, when that beat drops, it's just really amazing, like, how good it is. I like also that the spooky kids aren't mad. They are literally just having a fun time, and this song shows it. It's more relaxing and has a mellow tempo to it. 
and it makes it just another song you can just lay back and relax to, which honestly is really good for me in my opinion. And also on a side note, uh, you know, I just want to say something. We're not scared of an actual demon trying to eat us, or a, or you know, people pointing guns in my face, but we're scared of lightning. I mean, okay, I can do that, but like, still, that sounds weird. And now we finish off week 3 with another Newgrounds reference. God, I love this week. For this week, you know, when I first played it, I literally stood there just as the beat hit me like a truck. And this thing hits you so hard. It's so good. This song is like really good and it just hits you with all those beats. And it's, like, it's just so much fun to play. And also, another thing I really like is that the middle part, you know, where he starts getting aggressive, you know, you'll probably hear it soon if I keep the video going by talking, you know, I'm talking right now, hey, what's up? But, you know, it's just Pico getting frustrated, and I really like that, in my opinion. It's, it makes everything sound like a Twitter argument, you know, and it's just, it's just a really good song for week three, and it absolutely sends it off with a bang. One thing I do want to say, though, is that I love the references and everything, and like I just just love this song in general. It slaps so hard, and it, I can actually perfect this song now, which makes makes me so happy because I can actually enjoy it to its fullest instead of having to skip notes. It, but it makes it so much better. So yeah, it's just a really good song. And it used to be in my top three, but there was a couple other songs that got added in recently that well changed it a little bit, and you'll see them in a couple minutes. <laughs> Pretty tight bars for a little dude who's simping over an ugly, boring little teenager that wears her mom's clothes. <laughs> forgot about week seven didn't you and here we are and guns in my opinion is really nice and a really good song when i first play a hint hint um, video in the top right corner right there hint hint i was very surprised by the song like since i had not heard it before you know even if it got released i actually never heard it and kept it a surprise and my i say this thing was fire. That entire like guitar rift at the end or whatever the heck that chainsaw was that was right there just made it sound like some like metal band I used to listen to when I was a child and like it sounds so nice. Like, it just sounds so good. And like Tank Man's vocals just sound really good in my opinion. And you know, the whole part of him just not letting up for like three times straight. It's like so good, but like how the heck does his voice not even hurt? I, I mean, I I'd say this though, that you know, this song and the other two songs really lived up to the anticipation of week 7 that everybody was hoping for. And I just want to say, these songs did not disappoint at all. And I'm just so happy that they were this good. But yo, you'll see me talking about the other songs, you'll see me talking about one definitely, but like, you know, you'll see them eventually, but... You know, you know, it, it just saying, these songs are really good. God effing damn it. Well played, you little shit. But this is war, and in war, people die. Man, get rid of fire. Sorry, no prob for you this year! Ha ha ha! Ah, look who it is, your sexually ambiguous, angry little friend. Don't you have a school to shoot up? There's one way to settle this. Let's rock, you little cunt! 
You little cunt. Okay, so this song is again another banger just like Guns and lives up so good to the hype. The background is so good with Pico just there racking up some kill streaks and you singing with your demon waifu. It's just honestly really nice. Everything great about this song. Everything's like so great about it. The background, you know, the entire like the entire like fight that's happening with Pico gathering like 10,000 nukes in a Call of Duty match. Like Tank Man just like sitting there like battling you, you you're holding your girlfriend. The song itself like sounds so good and like the mid parts where Tank Man starts talking and like you know encouraging you for some weird reason after he threatened to kill your girlfriend. But you know I guess that's supportive and it's really nice. Again just an overall really good song and an awesome song and lives up to the hype all the way. And you cannot deny that it, it didn't slap as soon as you heard that. MILF, or MILF for short, you know. But, you know, now we're at the hardest song in the game, and in my opinion, it's very much overrated. It, it you know, I can play this song, you know, easily after a week or two, don't worry. But, like, I'm just saying, don't get mad at this ranking, but I feel like it's really overrated. Don't get me wrong, it's a really good song, and which is why it's so high in my opinion. But, like, it just doesn't deserve number one as most lists have it. It, it does slap, I will say it, but like, God, it doesn't deserve number one. The song itself is like, a really good doozy, but it gets easy after a while, you know, after practicing all the time. And like, you know, as the hardest song in the game, it has some of the fastest beats in the game, and you can tell, especially when the beat just like, drops instantly on the, you know, the hardest part in the game. Like, that's where people die the most in this game, unless they're like, gods of uh, rhythm games, which like, most people are, but still. Like the vocals on the mom and boyfriend are just so good, I honestly love them in my opinion. It's a really fun song, and you know, when you're able to beat it, and you can just vibe out to it. Like, I casually play it and vibe out to it as, like, to the first song I play, and it's really nice. Again, I just love this song, and like, you know, again, it's a really good song, but I feel like it's overrated, and to me, there are three other songs that I fell in love with that this song just cannot compete with at all. song I didn't like at first, but as you can see, my mind definitely changed now. This song just slaps so hard and it's good. And it's so good. This is actually one of, the, one of the first songs I ever listened to a remix on YouTube of because it's just really good in general. Like the vocals and the beat of this song are just so amazing and it just makes so much sense with context and all that whatnot. You know, you beat the anime protagonist so badly then, you know, now he's mad. And you can even tell from the tone of the song that he's mad and like, it just makes the song so much more fun. And even as the song goes on, you can see him get more frustrated and make even more like, you know, little like slip us. He's trying to, you know, he's trying to make you slip up and all that stuff. And it's, it's trying to make the songs more janky as it, he goes. Sorry, I'm stuttering here, but like, that, that's basically how the song feels in my opinion. It really sounds like a genuine battle and I just love it so much. 
this song is like really good. I listen to it all the time. Uh, again, there are two other songs as you can tell that beat it, but like Roses, I slept on this song at first, but like I'm not sleeping on it now. I it's a really nice song. And like I just again I love the song, but like there's two other ones that can beat it in my opinion. Now then, this used to be my favorite song for the longest time. This song is just so freaking good, and anytime I boot up this game, I instantly play it. Like, no matter what mod I'm on, I just play this song because I just love it so much. Like, Satin Panties is just so good. It has one of the best vocals, I feel, in this entire game, and like, the best beats. And like, the synchronization with like, the entire like, boyfriend and mom parts are like, so perfect here. I just really love it. It doesn't sound like a battle, really. It sounds like a conversation between two friends, and I really love it so much. It's just a nice song to vibe to, even though, again, you're on top of a moving limo for no reason. Like, how does this not even seem dangerous at all? Like, what the heck? Again, it's a nice song, and this actually used to be, um, you know, the, you know, the number one song, the one that I love the most. And it's actually one of the first songs I perfected at all. Which makes it even more, like, you know, again, attached to it a little bit. It, again, it used to be my favorite song, but there was one song that got released about a month ago, and you can probably guess which song I'm about to say. Well, 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 what do we got here? Beep. We should just kill you, but what the hell, it's been a boring day. Let's see what you got. This song freaking slaps. Holy crap. Like, so this song at first, like everybody else, I thought it was a joke, but I'm so happy it's not. This song is just a masterpiece, and even the- I know I said I'm not gonna mention the instrumental versions, but holy crap, this was the only one I listened to the instrumental version of, and I- I absolutely love it, it's so good. Like, this song is the sole reason I waited till week 7 came out to make this video, because I knew that this would be the best song. Playing this song is so much fun, the beat slaps, Tankman does that ugh so friggin' well, it's like- such an absolute banger. It's like, again, the only one I actually listen to for the instrumental as well. It just slaps so hard. The beat goes in, hits you like a freight train, like it hits you like a tornado, hits you like a meteor, whatever, whatever the hardest hitting object is in the entire universe is. Like, I hope to god that the next week that will come out, probably in like 2030 when all the dinosaurs come back to life. You know, I just hope that those songs slap as hard as this one. But I doubt it because this one is like a special case. Holy crap. And that is why, in my opinion, it's the best song in this entire game. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. You know, just let me know if you guys enjoyed it. I really want to know. I had a bunch of fun making this, you know, another ranking video. And I just want to know your opinions. You know, tell me what your favorite song is. And hopefully I'm not, you know, offending anybody by not putting the number one in the list. But just remember that it's my opinion. And I want to hear your guys' opinion. So yeah, make sure to like and subscribe, you know. And I hope again that you enjoy the video. School's been busy, so my YouTube schedule is off again. You know, just like last time. But like, it's so, it's so good to make videos. And just, just stay tuned. I'll make some more. Don't worry. But anyway, thanks for making it here. And uh, yeah, um, I'll see you next time. Bye.